Adventure Camp is a show with a varied cast of characters, so naturally I wondered who I could take in a fight. Th that's the intro, that's all you're getting. Hi, my name is Sailor Billy, you can call me Billy, and today I'm going to show you which characters would probably go down in a fight should they be paired against the duck, and who would make fright duck out of me. Yeah, that, that, that's all we're doing today. Okay, let's go over the tiers. So, in the middle here, we have very fair fight. This is like 50-50 odds. It depends a little bit on the context, which I will provide to you when we get there. Going down the ladder here, this will get increasingly better for me. You should see the other guy means that I definitely got some scratches from that fight, but you should see the other guy. They're dead. And comically easy means that there is no shot for this character to even have a chance to breathe after this. I, I take them down, roast every single chance they have for future things. Yeah, got him. Going up the ladder, though, would take me down, but not without a fight. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, they win, but I still get some damage in. And on the top there, I have no shot. Would KO me before I could scream for mommy. Okay, got that. Let's go. Aiden! is a pretty interesting character to start with. Actually, you know what? You know what? It, it, Aiden is a pretty meager guy. He's not very good at a lot of things, except for the social aspect. I could probably take Aiden. Yeah, sure. Let's go for that. Alec, I feel like would be a fairer fight. He has a better physique than Aiden. Uh, but still, I could take him, probably, just because he doesn't do a whole lot of exercising, I don't think. He's not the best in challenges, he's good at thinking. And thinking is not something that is going to win you from these paws, baby. Bam, bam! I think Ali's a pretty fair fight, too. I'm just gonna put her at, I'm going to win still. I don't think Ali has what it takes. I think Ali's going to default to her gaming skills. And those gaming skills are not going to save you from these fists, baby. Bam, bam. Ashley would easily, easily take me down. <laughs> Have you seen Ashley? I, I wouldn't even get a chance to say anything. Ashley would take me down. Maybe I could take her down one bit. Uh, and that is if she is too nice to not attack firsthand, and I could get a first blow in. Otherwise, I'm dead. Ashley's taking me on. Ooh, Connor would probably take me in a fight, to be honest. Like, he is a bit of an older guy. I think the fight would be fair. But I think I think Connor has that, that burly physique, you know? I think Connor has those midlife crisis skills. Like, if you insult him the wrong way, I think a hunk of a man is coming loose. So, no, probably wouldn't beat that. Dan, shut up. I, I'm almost tempted to put him in comically easy, but I, I'll, I'll put him in You Should See the Other Guy, just because I think Dan has some clever tricks up his sleeve. That That's pretty much it. Further much, Dan, Dan is... Dan is dead. Dan is so dead. Drew, comically easy. I would just take his notebook and I would hold it over his head and he would probably not be able to reach it. And then I punch him in the face. <laughs> don't take me trying to punch a 15 year old out of context, please. Don't don't clip it. Ellie is a tough one. Where do we put Ellie? Is Ellie going to win in a fight against me? Eh, maybe. I think maybe. Ellie's scary. Ellie scares me a little bit. I, I think, yeah, that's it. Ellie scares me a little bit. If she calls me extra, my confidence in this fight is going down by a lot. And that would probably give her the upper hand. I would be able to get a couple of punches in, but I think I would receive more. And therefore, Ellie goes in the very fair fight I lose category. Fiore would probably go in comically easy. Fiore is an interesting case. If Fiore has prep time, Fiore is going here. But if Fiore doesn't get prep time, which is what we're going to assume for now, Fiore is going in comically easy. She's a child. I can take a child, but if this child gets prep time, she's putting up all the traps, she's getting in all the work, there's probably seven bodyguards waiting for me when this fight starts, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> but for now, we're putting her in comically easy. Gabby would rip out my throat before I had the chance to even say good game. <laughs> Gabby is uh, not gonna leave much of you. Ashley would show mercy. Gabby would not. Ga Gabby's not showing mercy. Hunter. Have you seen Hunter in challenges? He is scary, man. Hunter would probably take me down. But I think this would be a more fair fight than Gabby and Ashley, who would leave nothing of me. Hunter would win. But I get a couple of smacks in here and there. Gret. Gret has been training, right? She is all about body health and such, and I think that nets her a lot of strength. Despite that, I still think I could beat Gret. I'll, I'll take down Gret, sure. Gret seems emotionally unstable. So before the fight starts, I would reveal to her that Yul doesn't really like her at all, and, and Gret would be done. <laughs> Otherwise, this is a pretty fair fight. Jake, no, Jake, I'm, be I'm beating Jake up easily. You should see the other guy. I don't think Jake would not be able to give back a fight, but I don't think this little guy is, is going to pose much of a threat. James, on the other hand, ugh, I don't know. I, I think that's a pretty fair fight. I don't think James does a lot of fighting, but I, I still think 
think he would take me on. Absolutely. Dude is built like a tank, right? So naturally, if he actually gets angry, he would probably knock the shit out of me. Not as much as, as Hunter and definitely not as much as the girls at the top, but he could probably take me on. Kai is probably so high out of his mind that he would not be able to give a fight. I, I think this is comically easy if he is high and pretty doable if he's... Eh, I would probably put him here if he's not on drugs, but we're gonna assume that he is high because it's Kai. Carol, ooh, Carol is definitely going down in this tier. I don't think Carol is as terrifying as Ashley or Gabby, but look at that face. Look at that menacing face. By the way, these images are not mine. I don't know who made them, but this tier was created by nothing to see. So thank you for that. Uh, and I am now using it. So th thank you. Ooh, Lil. Lil could probably take me on. Lil has that scout energy, you know? I would probably be able to get a few good punches in, but still, I think overall, Lil is clutching this fight. Maggie, uh-oh, where are we putting Maggie? Well, Maggie's kind of a giant, you know? Uh, I, I would get a couple of punches in, that's for sure, but I think if I get one good smack to the face, it is over. <laughs> if Maggie goes beast mode, she would definitely destroy me in a fight. Miriam, I don't dare to say that I would be able to take on Miriam. Like, a, a fragile old lady, I would probably be able to destroy in a fight, but it's Miriam, she's not fragile. I think Miriam would probably be able to take me. Maybe I could trip her, maybe she would break two hips in the process, and that could give me a good edge. But probably Miriam has like some sort of Taekwondo skill that I don't possess anymore. Well, actually I did do Taekwondo at one point. But Miriam probably remembered how to do it, and I don't. Yeah, Miriam is, is showing me all the jujitsu ways on how to uh, shovel my face in the dirt. Nick probably only knows fighting from movies. Absolutely is not going to pose a threat. I would just knock him to the nose and he would probably run off crying. <laughs> Oliver! I would probably just tell Oliver that Crystal doesn't like him and he would cry. Uh, no, I, I think I'll, I'll get Oliver. Oliver's not really posing a threat. Have you seen the guy? He's like 140 long. I could kick him. Rhea! Ooh, I think... Ooh, that's a... Mm, it's tricky. I think Rhea's too mighty. I think that it will be a fair fight. I think Rhea can fight dirty. But at the same time, I think Rhea overestimates herself. And I would probably be able to take her. Like, if she realizes that I can get a couple of good punches in, I think Rhea's confidence is going to drop very fast, and I would win this fight. Also, I get bonus points in this fight, because I don't really want to fight any of the contestants in this game, except for Rhea. One of the reasons that the Nordic Vikings became so large is because of that fiery passion, and that same fiery passion would go into punching Rhea. Absolutely. Rosa Maria, don't mess with a single mom, man. They will screw you up, especially if this is about her kid. Like, I, I don't know what the context of this fight would be. I'm just assuming if I was in a fight. But if her kid is somehow involved in this, Rosa Maria would beat my shit up. Like, have you seen Rosa in the show? She's holding back, man. She could probably take a lot of the characters in this show on. And that includes dear old me. Tess, going in the you should see the other guy category. I would just take her pills, throw them away. Now she's depressed, and I can get her. <laughs> this video is so bad. Tom would absolutely wreck my shit as well. I would probably get a couple of punches in as well, but his his academy training is no match for me. I still think Ashley and Gabby are able to get Tom if they put in all their hard work. Like, Tom is a doofus cop. Like, he's not the best at the force. He's probably one of the worst at the force. Regardless, I would not be able to take on Tom, but I would get a little smacky in. Will. Will is way too chicken to fight. But if he does fight, he will probably take me. So I'm going on the basis that Will doesn't know how to because he's scared. But then again, will he go beast mode once he realizes that I'm not holding back and I will not accept his surrendering? I don't think he will. And therefore, Will is going in the uh, I'm going to lose from Will tier. But it's gonna be close. I could probably take him if I could make him insecure. You know what? Screw it. I'll probably just scare him and get Fiore to appear out of nowhere. And then Will's scared, and I win the fight. Go down, Will. Yule, same case as Rhea. I think he's overestimating himself. Like, he's built like a god, but uh, yeah, no, he's not posing much of a threat. I think once he lets go, he could probably take me on. But by the time he does, I already beat his ass. Like, he thinks too high and mighty of himself to actually know how much force he needs to bring to stop me. Final contestant on this list, Lake. This is a tricky one. I think I would be able to beat Lake. Lake has shown that she's a good competitor. She's pretty strong. She's pretty agile. 
agile. Regardless, I don't think she has that much energy in her. I mean, she was able to take on Carol, and Carol is a lot higher on this list. No, wait, she eventually lost to Carol. Yeah, I could probably take on Lake. If if I can get a couple of punches in on Carol, I would be able to take on Lake. J Jensen, Jensen's wrecking my shit. He is absolutely destroying me. Look at this man. If you were in a fight with him, I probably wouldn't last three seconds. It is over for me if Jensen actually decides to go after me. Derek, ooh, that is, ooh, that is a fair fight if I ever saw one. Uh, would I be able to take on Derek, though? I mean, if Derek has a gun, no. I, I think Derek has a gun. We've seen that he pulls random guns out of his ass before. I think he would bring a hidden ass gun to, to this fight. And if he gets the chance to pull that, I am probably not winning. Or I'm definitely not winning. I'm <laughs> not bulletproof. Otherwise, eh, I don't know about this one. I think Derek has a lot of corrupt up strength, you know? I, I think... Derek will probably be able to beat me. Crystal! No, Crystal does not have what it takes. Crystal's too weak. I would probably take on Crystal. We've seen that hosting the show is very mentally taxing for Crystal, so probably the realization that she's going to have to fight me is, is also enough to break her mentally, and that would give me the upper hand easily. Trevor! Comically easy. As Trevor's voice actor, I would probably just improvise a line where I would say that he's not going to fight me because uh, he likes me too much and he thinks that I am a great, amazing human being. And Trevor and I would shake hands and he would go his merry way. But if he tries something, I'm knocking this guy out. Look, look at him. He's too happy to fight. Trevor does not have a fighting energy. Emily, on the other hand, now Emily's taking my shit. I am scared of Emily. <laughs> if Emily actually goes into a fight with me, I'm probably surrendering from the get-go. Look at Emily. She's so scary. Marcus, probably pretty easy fight. I think he can pull a couple of punches, but I don't think he is very much of a threat. He's literally the oldest guy on the show next to Miriam. And okay. Okay, well, th that does not really an argument because Miriam is pretty high on this list, but Marcus does not have any special skills unless he can bring his bus, which I could also use against Fiora, by the way. That is her weakness. Uh, if I could lend the bus from Marcus, then Fiora could go down even another tier. We could create a new one for her. Regardless, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to bring the bus and more as Marcus. So I would probably take on this guy. Nina, uh, final thing we need to uh, add a row above. Let me just quickly um, type this and yep, okay, done. Um, bam, yep, Nina's a demon. I would give up. I, I would not even fight Nina. I would just accept my fate. I'm going straight to hell. Nina is going to torment me there for centuries, millennia on end, and the pain will never stop. Uh, I, I am so scared of Nina. If Nina is ever real, um, I, I would flee the country, probably. I would stop YouTube, and I would make sure that she would never be able to find me after all of this. Nina, if you for some reason are seeing this, I love you. Not in that way. Please don't take that the wrong way and come after me still. Um, you, you are the best character on the show. Cool. So yeah, that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. A special thank you goes out to the Silly Billy members, Jess and Tyne, and the name is Tubby for being a silliest subscriber, and to Trap, Medicine, Roblox, Noahcraft, You'll Lover, Star Wars Timpin, Media Films, Galen's Remove, Puppy Chan, Nighty, Just Dex, Lily Rose 55, Corsa Corpse, Jericho Forest, Zeko Gecko, Rift, Creeper XOX, Neil, <gasps> and Javi Koopa. Thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, or, or don't. I, I don't really know why I wanted to make this video. This was just a, a random thought that popped into my head. Uh, I hope you liked it. And if not, I, I probably won't do it again. So don't worry. Anyways, for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This has been Silly Billy. And remember, there is no fighting Nina, only praying that she doesn't come after you. How do?